My mom would never let me take my phone into my room, number one, because she thought that I was going to be addicted, and number two, because she thought that I would engage in mischievous habits. And little did she know when she actually told me about this was that I was already engaging in mischievous habits. I, would, I was already engaging in take my, taking my phone into my room. I was, already, I was already the person, the exact person that she told me not to be. And little did she know that when I told her that I was working on something huge, when I told her that I was reading in my room, I was actually scrolling on YouTube, I was scrolling on TikTok, I was scrolling on Instagram Reels, I was doing all these bad habits, and with that, completely wasting my life, wasting my time, and wasting my life. Wasting your time is a direct correlation with the amount that you waste your life, obviously. Every second turns into every 10 minutes, turns into every hour turns into every day, turns into your entire life. The way that you spend your time is basically the way that you spend your life. How valuable your life is, is how valuable your time is. That's literally it. And I'm going to share with you in this video exactly what productivity is, exactly everything that you need to know about productivity, because productivity is using your time and using it incredibly efficiently to its maximum potential. And I'm going to be telling you exactly what I needed to hear all of those years ago when I was completely addicted to my phone. I was completely addicted to these bad habits. You know, the ones I'm talking about. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you three different things that you need to know about productivity. The three things that make up productivity. And these three things are the exact things that are going to change your life. So I highly recommend writing this down on a sheet of paper because these are the three things that define productivity. These are the three, the only three things. This is how you stop wasting your life. This is literally how you stop wasting your life. Now as a preface, this is how to stop wasting your free time. If you need to free up free time, that is because you need to reduce the bad habits that you are doing, or you need to manage your time far more wisely. I'll get into that in the next video, but this is how to utilize your time, the time that you currently have to its maximum potential. Because let's be real, if you will literally 100x your results if you actually harness these three things that I'm going to share with you. Number one is energy. Obviously, if I was talking in this video like, hey guys, that would not be good. If I had insufficient energy, I probably wouldn't have even clicked record on this video. Why is that? Because you need energy to do tasks, to participate in tasks. You need a good amount of energy. If you want to do that task in a quality, <laughs> I'm trying to be wordy here, in a quality fashion, <laughs> that makes no sense. If you're trying to perform tasks with quality, then you need to have energy. And same with all of these three things that I'm going to be sharing with you. But the first thing is energy because it directly affects how quickly you get the task done. Now with a thing like recording, I could be talking like this, right? But that isn't that good for your attention span and it isn't good for the video quality and it makes me seem like an absolute lunatic. You know, I could be doing that but I'm not going to do that, right? Because I'm not going to speed through this video quickly. But you want to know what energy also directly correlates with. It also correlates with how well you accomplish the task. Because let's think about it. Your energy is up. I need to get this task done. I need to get it done well. I need to get it done efficiently. Oh shit, I'm so energized. Okay, I'm going to hop on this task. I'm going to hop on it right now. I'm going to waste far less time and I'm going to get this done in a short period of time. And you want to know also what energy directly corresponds with? It, resp it corresponds with focus, which is number two. Focus, the way that we increase focus is through different practices such as meditation, focusing on your breath, or different things, different exercises that you can think of that directly exercise your focus, such as me talking to the camera would be a great exercise of my focus because I could be having a bunch of thoughts racing in my mind right now, but I do not. I'm right in the present moment right now and I'm talking to the camera. Another great exercise for focus is reading. Your mind wanders 
place it back to the present moment. Your mind waters, place it back to the present moment. I made an entire video on focus if you wanted to go check that out. But currently, keep watching because right now I'm going to be explaining number three to you, which is absolutely the most important thing. And I'm going to be elaborating on this thing the most in this video. So what focus does, is, right, is that it increases your focus to the project, thereby improving the quality, increasing the quality. And it's just going to end up a, f a far greater, it's going to be a far greater end product once you finally get high focus and you can finally focus on the exact task that you're working on. Now think about it, if I was recording this video and my mind was going all these other places, would it really be that good of a video? Shit, what was I talking about again? Exactly. So get your focus up, get it up as quickly as possible so that you can actually increase the quality and quantity of your work. Literally, for with these two things, you can 10x your productivity, you can 10x the amount of things that you get done in a specific time period. But the way that you want 100x it, Yes, I said 100x. It's through switching the task, how which task you are choosing. And there goes the audience retention graph. I'm expecting to see like a, a regular like audience retention graph, right? Everyone's watching, everyone's watching. And then I say task and then it all goes down. Why is that? Because task is boring. Because task involves actually doing your own research and figuring out what the best task is for you. Now let's talk about the 80-20 rule, okay? You might've heard of this before. It's basic, it essentially means that 20% of your actions, so the things that you only do 20% of the time actually give you 80% of the results. So if that's money, let's say that 100K, only 20% of the actions literally cut the amount that you work by 80%, cut it by 80%, that amount of work can actually deliver you $80,000. Say if you're usually getting like $100,000, that means that you're getting $80,000 for 20% of your work. That is insane. And how do we actually use this incredible rule to our advantage? We figure out the highest ROI, the highest return on investment things that we need. So for example, my highest ROI investment, my greatest time investment would be recording because I push out these videos once every day and I keep them incredible quality, incredible information. But yet I only record these videos for like 13 minutes a day. The rest of the video is, I mean, I wouldn't need to work for the rest of the day. Honestly, I would only be recording for like 13 minutes. Okay, number one, that increases the ability, my speaking skills, because I'm technically practicing it in every video. But I am also engaging in work, right? I'm engaging in the exact thing that propels me towards my goal. Now, let me give you an example of what not to do. Most people on YouTube, <laughs> they just go around videos, commenting on all these channels, saying, oh yeah, uh, guys, subscribe to my channel, sub for sub. Oh yeah, guys, I'm going to take over the self-improvement space. Subscribe if you want to see the journey. That is the worst return on investment thing that you can do. That or going to Reddit forums and trying to get people to watch your videos. The best thing that you can do is recording videos and learning, learning how to make them better. Learning, understanding how to captivate an audience or how to create great titles or how to increase the good YouTube metrics. Now that's just an example and I want you to contemplate how you can use all of these for your life. There's energy, there's task, and there's focus. You need to increase all of these things if you actually want to live, get to as close of your potential as possible and maybe even accomplish it. Because the ideal piece of our lives it is going to be when we accomplish our potential, right? But I want to end this video off with an incredibly important thing. You need to learn how to love what you do. You need to learn how to love your work. Now, I'm not a kind of guy to say, find your passion and then devote 100% of your life to that. No, 
I'm a guy who says, now this is very controversial. I'm a guy who says, find something and stick to it. I, I hated recording these videos back then, but now that I'm actually good at it, now that it's actual an actual flow state that I'm in right now, now that I can actually s really just focus and give my all in every single one of these videos, let my personality shine through and speak from my soul, I now enjoy it. Find the thing that you want to do. Find a thing that sounds fun. And devote as much of your life as possible to that thing. Using the productivity tactics that I shared with you in this video. Now, if you want an incredibly detailed explanation of productivity, I go into energy, all the things that you need to do to increase energy. I go into task, all the things that you need to do to pick the right task and do them efficiently. And I also tell you how to increase your focus in in an incredibly efficient way, only like two minutes of video. And I tell you exactly how all the tactics that you need to increase your focus. So if that sounds like interesting to you, if you're like, yes, I actually do want to stop wasting my life and I'm incredibly motivated to do so, then click the top link in the description below or in the pinned comments below. It's to my private community and it also holds all, of, all three of my courses, more to come. And if you like this video on my channel, I miss him, not because I'm him, but because we're all striving to be him, right? And hope I can help you on that journey just as I did today. So if you like that message, then do subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.